Hello friends, welcome to Chitty Mithrin. In today's video, we will be discussing about Simple Interest 1.0. Our agenda for today's video is we are going to learn what is Simple Interest, some important phrases, and then we are going to learn the formula for Simple Interest and also how to apply the formulas for Simple Interest based problems. Fourth one, Deep Learning. In this part, I will be giving you guys a short overview on our upcoming video, which is Simple Interest 2.0. What is interest? In real world, money is not free to borrow from anyone. For example, we often have to borrow money from banks or person in the form of a loan. For example, it could be a home loan, car loan, or a personal loan. But when you pay back, you pay more money than your principal amount after a specific period. So that additional amount is called the interest. There are two types of interest which we would come across in our lifetime. The first one is the simple interest and then the second one is the compound interest. And in today's video, we will be discussing only about the simple interest. Important phrases. Before we begin with simple interest, we should know the meaning of few expression and its relations. A lender. A lender is someone who gives the money to another person. Example, a bank or a person. Borrower. Borrower is someone who borrows the money from another person. The principal. The principal is the amount that the borrower has borrowed from the lender. It is usually denoted as capital P. For example, for principal amount is rupees 10,000, it could be 20,000, lakhs or even crores. The rate of interest. It is the proportion of a loan that is charged as an interest to the borrower. It is usually denoted as capital R and it should be in the per annum format. Number of terms. The duration or the number of years within which the borrower has to pay back the loan is called the number of term. It is usually denoted as capital T or capital N and even the number of terms should be in the per annum format. Example for number of terms is it could be two years, one year, five year, etc. Note, for simple interest, always the interest is calculated only for the principal amount. So friends, this is a very important point. So when you're calculating the simple interest, the always the interest is calculated only for the principal amount. Formula. Some formulas to remember. SI, which is simple interest, is equal to P and R by 100, where P is the principal, N is the number of terms or number of years, R is the rate of interest, the whole divided by 100. Payback. As we discussed before, we know that when you're paying back the money to another person, you usually pay more amount than the principal amount. So the payback is equal to principal plus the simple interest. P is the principal plus we know that the simple interest is P and R by 100. Friends, when you look at this term, you could say that P is common in both of these places. So when you take P out as common, you can write it as P into 1 plus NR divided by 100. Friends, both these two equations or formulas are the same, but in this case, I've just taken the P out as common. 
Apply formulas for simple interest. Now let's see an example. Vishal takes a loan of rupees 10,000 from a bank for a period of two years. The rate of interest is 10% per annum. Find the interest and the total amount he has to pay to clear his debt at the end of two years. Now, our first step is we have to find whichever values are given in the question. Like we have to find the principal, the number of years and the rate of interest. So finding these are our first step. Now let's do our first step. So first we have to find the principal which is P and it is given in the question as rupees 10,000. So P is equal to 10,000 and then our duration or number of terms which is N is equal to 2 years which is also given in our question. And then the rate of interest R is equal to 10%. So after we find all these values, our second step is we have to see whether the duration and the rate of interest is given in the per annum or yearly format. So our second step which we have to write is that the rate and the number of years should be in the years format. So friends, when we look at this question, it is clearly given that N is in the years format because the word year is present. And then when we look at the rate of interest, it is also given that it is in the per annum format. So after we complete our two steps, our third step is we have to find the interest. So as for our question, they have asked us to find the interest. So, which is SI, the simple interest is equal to P and R by 100. Now, we are just substituting the values of P and R by 100. So, we know that P is equal to 10,000 into 2 into 10 all divided by 100. Now, when you solve it, you get rupees 2,000. After we complete finding the interest, now we have to go back to our question. They have also asked us to find the total amount he has to pay to clear his debt at the end of the two year. Now, we have to find the payback. So we know the formula for payback is equal to principal plus interest. So principal which is P plus the in so interest which is P and R by 100. Now in the question it is also given that P is equal to 10,000 plus the interest we found just found out that it is rupees 2,000. So 10,000 plus 2,000 is equal to 12,000. So Vishal has to pay 12,000 tryouts. Rohan takes a loan of rupees 10,000 from a bank for a period of 2.5 years. The rate of interest is 7.5% per annum. Now we have to find the interest and also the total amount he has to pay at the end of 2.5 years. Now again, our first step, we have to find the principal, number of terms and the rate of interest. So P is equal to rupees 10,000 R is equal to 7.5% per annum which you could also write as yearly and then N which is equal to 2.5 years and then our second step is we have to check whether the rate and the number of terms are given in the years or yearly format. So when you go back to the question, it is clearly said as year and then the rate of interest is given in the per annum format. And then our third step is we have to find the interest, which is SI is equal to PNR divided by 100. 
Now we're just going to substitute the value. So P is equal to 10,000 into 2.5 into 7.5. The whole divided by 100, which is equal to 1,875. Again, when we go back to our question, they have also asked us to find the total amount he has to pay at the end of 2.5 years. Payback, which is equal to P plus P and R divided by 100. You see, formula. Now we're just going to substitute the value. So P is already given in the question as 10,000 plus P and R by 100 is nothing but simple interest. So simple interest we found out it is 1875. So when you add these two terms, you get 11,875. So Rohan has to pay 11,875 at the end of 2.5 years. Deep learning. The principal amount do not change throughout the number of terms or the number of period or the duration. So duration is usually denoted by capital N. So the principal amount always remains the same or constant throughout the question. And it does not get affected by any of these terms, which is the number of terms or number of periods or even the duration. Rate of interest, usually it is denoted by capital R and if the rate of interest is not in the per annum format or yearly format, then our first step is we have to convert it into the year's format and then we have to substitute it in our formula. For example, it might be given as per month or per quarterly or even per half yearly. So if it is given in any of these three cases, then our first step is we have to convert it into the yearly format, which is the year's format, and then we have to substitute it in our formula P and R by 100. Like the rate of interest, even the duration has to be in the yearly format. If not, in the yearly format, then we have to first convert it into the year's format and then substitute it in our formula. Friends, it might be given as months or quarterly, half yearly or even in days. In any of these cases, then our first step is we have to convert it into the yearly format and then substitute it in the formula. Thank you for watching our videos friends. If you like our video, please do like, share your valuable comments in the comment box below. I will be visiting you with our simple interest 2.0 very shortly. Until then, goodbye friends.